You guys talking about Bronze to GM? Yeah, I used to, I used to really hate smurfing. I saw Bronze to GM as the same thing. I don't know, dude. I feel like um, it's one of those things where lately I'm like, whatever. People do what they do, and I, I watched a little bit of a vibes thing because people keep talking about it. And I was like, okay, like he does, he does try to, you know, teach these basic concepts. And I'm like, well, I, I still kind of, there's part of me that still is like, oh, I wish you did it a different way. But like, I get it. It's like a, it's like a teaching thing. Okay. You know, I watched, apparently Hero Marine has done a bronze to jam. Cause I saw Hero Marine talking nonstop. He's like, this is where I click my barracks. And I was like, what the fuck is Hero Marine? No, this isn't how Hero Marine commentates. And then he was like, thrash this guy despite playing like ass for Hero Marine's normal play. Uh, and he gets out of the game and he's at 4,800 MMR. I'm like, what the fuck? Hero Marine smurfing? And it's like, oh, it's his bronze to GM account that he occasionally plays on. has been slowly working up, apparently. And I was like, okay. Like, I get it. Uh, still don't think people should do it much. Um, I still wish we could kind of, you know, do those sort of teaching videos um, in a different way. I mean, a lot of it, the information's out there. It's... There is a lot of information out there. It's just that people find it a lot more accessible to watch someone play a game and learn a bit while being entertained you want to watch a story unfold you want it to be related oh i can't get out of bronze he's getting out of bronze i can't get out of silver he's getting out of silver it's it's impossible for pe people are very good at not learning things but i think it's like impossible to to not learn from watching someone like win in your league against the people you play on ladder you're like oh I guess that does work like <laughs> you know so i'm like and and i get like it, it obviously you know same thing if i was doing videos like that it would just be i'd get people from my clan or my community and i'd play against them they'd be way lower than me i'd talk through the different concepts right um i haven't watched enough to truly know i know neuro did one i know winter used to do a lot of smurfing and these days does the occasional gm bronze to gem i don't know i haven't watched enough to really know about it um, I'm sure it's just like really slowing things down and going through a lot of concepts on a very slow basis. And who knows, maybe at some point I'll do that. I have done a lot of other videos that go over many of those concepts, but it's not in nearly as an easy to watch format. And that's always been my old educational like pig daily stuff, even the really beginner basics ones, which weren't really beginner beginner basics. It was more like your, your high silver, low gold basics. Um, <laughs> whereas obviously, you know, those bronze ones, it's like, Vibes like, and this is how you build the buildings. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I've heard a lot of positive things. I see a lot of people posting like, this has got me in to play StarCraft. Somehow it, it's, it's helping people get over ladder anxiety, seeing people play on these these accounts. Um, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm like, this is a good thing that it's being taught this way, but I'm definitely like not that against it the way I like used to be, where I used to judge it really like, harshly. Well, yeah, and even though a lot of my friends did, I'd be like, guys, I was like, wow, you're gonna get, you're gonna go beat Bronze League people to look good and you know to teach the game. I'm like, which you can you can definitely teach a lot of concepts outside of that. Um, but I'm like, I get it now. So I've learned to embrace it. Same reason I used to, you know, always be a little bit annoyed about the whole you know viewbotting thing with a bunch of different streamers. Lots of different people have done viewbotting in the past, um, and. Uh, and I, I've just kind of like let that go just because I'm like, eh, hanging on to that shit doesn't matter anymore. Learn with Apollo was bad. Neuro was bad, bronze to GM. Apollo was, wow, scope round, Jesus. I don't know if bad sums it up. I mean, you gotta talk, Apollo's videos were when the game just came out. Man. It's a different understanding of the game. <laughs> I'm sure there was some good fundamentals covered in there. I'm sure there was. Hey, Foot, thanks for the 500 bit cheer, dude. You liked my name against Neeb? That was so bad. No, just to sell. Foot ECU likes watching Neeb murder me with a couple of Adepts and Oracles, which I knew was going to happen as well. I was like, man, it's it's Neeb. He kills everyone with Adepts and Oracles. I should have played a different style. I should have been a bit, bit safer. Apparently, you need a second spore in each mineral line. That's like, I'll kill my own economy, but I'll survive longer. I swear. God damn, Neeb's a god. Thank you for the support, dude. I appreciate it. But, um... So, basically, there, there is this bad aura. Because a lot of people who used to smurf used to do it just as douchebags. And even the ones who didn't do it for douchebags just did it as a cheap way to look better than they were at the game. So this is why there's this whole aura, like I said, that I hung on to for a long time as well. But, um, yeah. I, I understand that, that people are doing it for education purposes. I, I feel like it's like... I I would never I would never have the patience to do what Vibe is doing. Like, for me that is so painful, because he is 
so slowly going over the most fundamental concepts of RTS, which I figured out when I was like 12, you know? So for me, I'm like, I'm like, ooh, like I watched 10 minutes of it here. I watched another two minutes there, another two minutes there. And I was like, yeah, I can't watch more of this. Because for me, as someone who grew up with RTS, I'm like, oh, it's like, it's like explaining how to fucking kick a ball. He's like, well, what you want to do is you pull your leg back and then you kick it. And I'm like, well, I grew up playing RTS games. So for me, I don't have the patience. Hats off to Vibe for, you know, I used to be like, oh, this is just a cheap thing for views. And I watched a little bit. I was like, how is Vibe? He's another guy who grew up with RTS games able to sit here and talk about this. This is so boring. Um, <laughs> any RTS veteran is like, this is fucking boring. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 for people who've never played RTS. It's like that gets them into the game. So I'm like, that's that's I and mean, that can't be a bad thing, right? Um, and he'll win 90% of his games. Like he he won't he won't he'll still lose a few because he's like I'm not allowed to watch my army or he's doing his little little mini challenges right as he goes through to focus on different things. But he will win 90%. It's not like he's hanging out there for a super long time. Uh, I used to be like, no, fucking giving anyone a, a horrible mismatch on ladder is wrong. It's bad. You know, I used to be very idealistic about it. Now I'm like, eh, whatevs. People have a great reception to it. People in my chat saying, oh, it got me to this league. It helped me. I've moved past it, guys, a little bit. You can tell I still am moving past. I'm moving past it. I'm moving past it. Who knows? Maybe at one one day I'll do a very, I'll do it like Hero Marine where I do like a few games a week. And, and then over the course of many months, we slowly work that Bronze to GM account up. I would always do it more where I'm working through different concepts every game. Because I would not be like, oh, we're just focusing on macro for all of Bronze. I'd be like, okay, we're focusing on macro, but this game I'm talking about this. This game I'm talking about this thing. And obviously there'd be a lot of effort getting into the mindset of playing a lot slower, talking through the details. And there'd be a bit of repetition, but if I spread it out, I think I would be able to do it without without wanting to hurt myself. <clears throat> I don't like bronze to GM because when the going gets tough, the streamer APM spikes and they use game understanding to stomp the poor bugger they're facing. Well, that's the thing, burning slippers. I hate that as well. I think that's fucking bullshit. That I wouldn't. That's the thing. But because like everyone's like, no, 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 vibe will still just play slowly and not watch his army and like kind of. I'm sure he still instinctively speeds up a little bit at times of stress. But I think apparently everyone says he's been really good about not doing that. And he's like, no, no, no. Like if something surprises him, he's not going to like do a 300 APM burst for a minute, defend the attack and then go back to playing slow. Like he will actually lose the game, which so I I mean, I was like, that's that's what sold me on it. That's what sold me on it. That's I'm like, oh, OK, if you're going to do it, that's the way to do it. So he's doing it the least abusive way. And it's also the most teaching oriented way where it also gives support to his teaching, right? If he loses a game because he, he won't speed up and use those instincts and skills, and you're like, oh, he does fucking lose. Yeah, the strategy doesn't work. And then he wins the next nine out of 10 games still playing really slowly, but focusing on the right things. And you're like, I guess it does work. Maybe I should spend my money. Maybe I should get five barracks rather than one barracks, two factories, two starports, one engineering bay, one armory, a fusion core, and uh, no add-ons on any of my buildings. Which, let's be real, guys. I see a lot of games of people in Gold League who still just, like, never figure out their basic production, for instance, right? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool. So, you know, if you, if you watch Vibe and he's just hitting home on those basics over and over again, fuck yeah, that's awesome. If I lose, it, maybe if I lose, it doesn't mean the game is done. <laughs> That's cool. Anyway, thanks for hanging, guys. Um, yeah, so I've been reading. I, I always read a lot of Reddit and read you guys' comments. So you guys sway my opinion on these things. And it's you guys in chat as well as the ones on Reddit posting. If you, you've all changed my mind about Bronze to GM with the way Vibe does it. No one else. Fuck everybody else. Fuck those Smurfs trying to get those easy wins. Fuck that shit. <laughs> It's funny because I'm so because I, I, I've been so um, idealistic on this. But people give me shit for my Twitch Plays Pig account. And they're like, "Oh, you're fucking smurfing," and I'm like, "Dude, the MMR is like 200 lower than my main account, and I'm doing shit that should never work. And I'm trying as hard as I can to win." And people are like, "Fucking 200 MMR lower? That's smurfing." And I'm like, "I'm trying as hard as I can to win every game on this account." They're like, "Yeah, well." No, and I'm like, no, like you guys are actually wrong. I'm like, I, I do my Twitch plays pig 
in a very ethical way because I am obsessed with not ruining people's ladder experiences. Don't get me wrong. Losing to a weird build can suck and can be frustrating, and it's probably those guys who've lost to, like, mass fucking High Templar or Disruptors who are coming in shit, they're like, oh, you fucking smurfing, you're playing with your freedom. Like, no, this is actually a hard challenge. This is fucking... It's the same thing when I'm playing on my Star-Lord account, you know? It can suck to lose to something. You're like, this guy's fucking trolling me, but I'm like... You know, just because it's not the best style, it could still be a 70% good style. It's just I need to execute certain things at an exceptional level to make it work. And if I can get through a certain hard points in the game, it's actually a really good style, right? You know, pe people often, they, 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 they box the styles, this is bad or this is good. They're like, no, it's always good or it's always bad. I'm like, it's not like that. Any, like, you can play the greediest, dumb, bad style ever. If you get away with that greed for a certain amount of time, it becomes ridiculously powerful. There is always a point where something is bad. Or if one or two, or two or three points, or four or five points if you're really cheesing your ass off, maybe. But that that's different, you know, that's that's different. Um Oh guys, check it. Look at this screen cap. Kathy's streaming. Road to Diamond One. Zerg Girl. You've been promoted Diamond One. Wait, she has an account called Cute Asian Girl? Oh my god. That's so lame. I gotta give her shit about that. That is hilarious. I'm gonna get my account out now to fucking troll that. It's gonna, I'm gonna make a new smurf. It's gonna be called fucking QT Angel fucking 88 because that's the year I was born. I don't know if there's many 31 cute angels out there, but it'll be fucking great. Cutie white boy. I don't fucking know. Anyway, guys, we're gonna raid Zombie Grub. Have a good night. I love you all. Go join the raid. Slap some bacon down. Merry Christmas.